Now, we're going to have um, Charlie Rose lead us in a couple of conversations on courage. I, I want to thank, as I leave the stage, my longtime friend, Bishop Tutu, and Aung San Suu Kyi, who is giving her first live interview uh, uh, by satellite to be a part of this. Uh, it was my great honor to present to her husband and other family members uh, the Presidential Medal of Freedom to Aung San Suu Kyi when I was president. She has inspired us all and she inspires us still. So this will be a good morning. Thank you all for your commitments. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our panelist, Chairman the Elders, Archbishop Desmond M. Tutu. And our moderator, host of Charlie Rose, Charlie Rose. Thank you very much. You sit in any chair you want to. Uh, it is my honor and, and a, a great uh, pleasure and opportunity to uh, go across oceans via satellite to talk to Aung San Suu Kyi. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Uh, this is Charlie Rose sitting with Archbishop Tutu here in New York. Um, and there you are. Uh, please join me here in New York in welcoming Aung San Suu Kyi, who is in Myanmar. Thank you very much. As you can see, there is a standing ovation here in New York for you. Um, which, is, which is a tribute, if we can hear you, um, which is a tribute uh, to the respect that the world has for you. Um, how are you, and, and um, how goes your own struggle for democracy? Uh, I'm well, and very happy to see both of you, especially Archbishop Desmond Tutu, who I've always wanted to meet in person, but this is almost as good. And it's very kind of you to get in touch with me in this way. Uh, you asked how our struggle is getting on. It's getting on. It's not easy. And I'm sure every, every South African knows how difficult this kind of struggle can be. And you were just talking about reconciliation. The reconciliation bit is sometimes the most difficult of all because both sides have to be prepared to compromise and to give, not just take. And give and take is such a mutual process that we need to find the right balance so we are at a very difficult stage, but at the, mo at the same time, as I've always said, I'm a cautious optimist, and I'm cautiously optimist, optimistic that we're going forward and that we will be able to get onto the road towards true national reconciliation, which is essential if our country is to be the kind of country we all want. Uh, President Clinton earlier remembered giving you, um, after the Nobel Prize, um, a great...